Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of D-Ray's Garage from the world famous fountain here in Fountain Hills, Arizona. Fresh off the heels of victory over the Swedes in the quarterfinals of the World Cup, I'm out and about taking the kids to stretch their legs. But what you're here for is to check out the dyno results post modifications. Those modifications as a reminder being an IPD plenum throttle body and then the sole performance products exhaust with the street cats the full system so uh, definitely some modifications worth doing we also did a little tweak with some tuning uh, post modifications now we'll give you the graduations between pure mods and mods plus tune so sit tight it won't be a long episode but the uh, critical d data will be contained within enjoy Just as a reminder, here's the initial graph from the dyno without anything going on. And here's the magical number thereafter. As you can see, the shape of the curve didn't really change at all throughout the modifications. You can see the red line there, which is the one right above the green, which was the initial line, showing where the modifications had a about a third of the overall impact on the entire project. And then as you get to the blue line, that reflects both the Cobb tune and the modifications of the plenum throttle body, exhaust, and then the air fuel ratios all getting jived together. Now, I've put the air fuel ratio guide in there. I don't know anything about it. If you want to spend some time studying it, it's there for you. So we got from 230 to 240, 270 to 285 in phase one, and then 240 to 58 and 285 to 307 torque and power when we had it all kind of packaged together and, and flattened out, so to speak. So definitely got some big results from a couple of fairly basic bolt-on add-ons in addition to some fine tuning. As far as the CBA goes, all in all, just shy of $8,000 in total spent on this project and a lot of fun learning how to do all this stuff. Never done any of it before, which you probably saw showed in the videos, but it was fun all the same. Uh, hope it gave you some confidence to tackle these projects yourself and figure out which of these modifications may be a good decision and a good thing for you to take on. So there you have it, folks. 307 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque, give or take. Nice increases, about 10%. You'll feel it in the butt dyno for sure. Uh, you know, whether it plays out in autocross, I'll find out in a couple of months when the season opens back up again, but I'm excited to try that. And then of course, you know, another couple of things you could do, you could mess with the gasoline, uh, go up to some E85, or maybe I'll just drop some race gas in the tank and see how the ECU responds to that as well. Uh, time will tell, but hopefully you've gotten something out of this. If you have a Boxster S or Boxster Cayman, you know, I'm assuming some of these mods would work out for you. The only one I might question a little bit is if you did the IPD plenum and throttle body by itself, I'm not sure you're gonna get a ton of mileage out of it. When it comes to the exhaust, my opinion on that is that uh, it definitely added power, but it definitely completely for me changed the audio experience of the car. So. You know, measured in smiles per hour and smiles per gallon, pretty sure the car's stepping up to the plate. Good luck with your projects. If you have any questions, bang them down below. Please like and subscribe if you don't mind. That certainly helps us out and uh, gets the channel more views, which uh, gives us the ability to make more shows for you. Talk to you later. Thanks for checking in. Bye now.